Hey everybody and welcome to this video about how we create a store procedure using uh, MySQL and PHP. We have this uh, application up and running, our review application, that will accept uh, an author and then some review contents. And then it will save it to the database. And um, right now we're using dynamic SQL to uh, create this in here. We have this insert into review and we are constructing this dynamically. and This can be vulnerable to SQL injection. How do we improve on that? Well, we can make a store procedure. And here I have the, the create script for the database. And we can see we got some uh, table definitions. We got some insert intos to make test data. Then we're creating a test user to uh, work on the database. And finally, we have a store procedure. And this is a very simple procedure that will select everything from our reviews table. If we should go through it very, very quickly, we have a delimiter that will define when the procedure starts and where it ends. Then we have a definer who is the user who created the procedure. And finally, we have the declaration of procedure and then the name of our store procedure. Then we have begin that tells the database that this is when the procedure code starts. Then we have the actual SQL or query code that will get some data or modify the database in some way. And then you, you have the delimiter end. If we should create a new store procedure for uh, inserting into our review and replacing this dynamic SQL code, we can copy this and then we can rename the procedure to create review. And now we're creating a new row in the database. So we need to have some, some input values because we're not getting data from the database. We are creating new data into it. And you can make input variables. So we need the full name and we need to tell the database that this is an input variable and the name of the parameter, then the data type it's a varchar 200 in length, and we need one for our contents as well. And that should be varchar a lot. So now we defined two input variables, uh, the input file name and the input contents. So now we need to put in some actual SQL code to uh, insert a new row into the, our reviews table. And we will take the input full name first and then the input contents. And that is basically it. Now we defined our input variables, variables and we have connected them with our insert into statement. And that is basically it. So if we go into phpMyAdmin and import our database again, we should get the stored procedure with us. So now we can see we got the review table as before. We have a new node called procedures, and then we should have two different procedures. We have the get all reviews, as we had before, and then create review. All right, so what do we need to connect that to PHP? We have this, this uh, insert into, and right now it is quite simple actually, because we will, um, create a new statement, and we need to call the procedure. And now we need to input our, our variables from our create review function. And put them into quote lines here. So that is basically it. We have switched our insert into statement on the PHP side with a call to our procedure. We input our variables. Then we do the same thing as we did before, preparing the statement and executing. Let's have a look if it works on our application. Hmm. 
we can see here we get a new entry into the database and this really concludes about the stored procedures all right thanks for watching bye bye